Uh, yeah, that's why we're going to do a quick Neo Phoenicia update, the ones I put into Semi Hydro Summer of 2022. And <clears throat> I am in the process of cleaning media, so <laughs> I would like to include the Ceramis, but not before I do an update. Clearly, my little Neo Phoenicia Falcata set Suzanne has seen better days. Uh, <clears throat> she's going to leave the collection, unfortunately. How can I explain this? Well, two things. I was cleaning the leaves, trying to be a good orchid keeper, freeing the leaves from dust, and I guess there was still too much water on my Q-tip and it got into the crown, etc. This is the Setsu Sun that is so pretty. It has a tiger-like variegation and I was really hoping to keep it. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> you know, dust your leaves during the winter when the light levels are low and all that good stuff that you want to be doing with your Neos. That's what I was doing. And yeah, on top of that, you can see quite a bit of salt accumulation on the roots. So maybe the ceramics wasn't clean enough, wasn't free of enough parts per million, because I haven't been fertilizing this Neo a lot, seeing as there was not much to go on, but the roots were fine when I put it into the pot. So in this case, I am wondering, with the salt accumulation around the base, plus me messing around trying to keep a nice tidy looking Neo in check. Yeah, she got crown rot, being a slow grower. That's not a good thing. So Neo Phoenicia Fakata Setsu Sun is going to free up a pot that I need, which I won't be having to buy. I can reduce my shopping list from two 11 by 11 square white pots to one. I suppose that's the positive side of it, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. From here on in, you will be seeing dusty leaves because while I did everything with the other Neos as well, with a Q-tip cleaning leaves, I quickly stopped when I realized what I had done to my Setsuzan. So my Gojo Fukurin here, she's doing okay. She's not dead. She lost one leaf, but grew two leaves since I potted her up. And her roots that were viable when they were going into the pot, they are still looking okay. Even though I'm a little bit concerned about the desiccation I'm seeing around the Velamen at the base there of the stem because that is a sign there is a problem. I'm not trying to be negative Nancy here. I am only calling out the obvious. When roots at the stems start to look desiccated, usually it could be also salt buildup. This is the same batch of ceramics. And you can see that there are somewhat, you know, little white bits on the ceramics that look a little bit like calcium. Yeah, <clears throat> she's holding on though. She's holding on. Other roots are viable in the pot and she doesn't look to be struggling at all. A very, very slow grower on top of that. So if one were to fail like the Setsuzan, the Gojo Fukurin would be next. Trust me, because after four years of having these Neos and messing around with them, I can't really say I've been very successful at getting them established in my very dry climate, with the exception of the classic Neo Phoenicia Falcata, but this is looking promising. I'm not quite holding my breath. I'm, we're not out of the woods yet, but it is certainly better than the previous candidate. Here we have my Falcata Kibana. Oh, another very slow grower, but doing the best out of everything we've seen so far, clearly. Since she's gotten into semi-hydro, her leaves are getting a bit longer, even though so slowly. And the little growth that I unearthed from the Bracts when I was cleaning this orchid up to put her into Ceramis and semi-hydro, look what it has done since then. <laughs> that is how slow she is, but not gonna be greedy. All the older roots are looking great, even though there's two, they were extremely long and they weren't accustomed to a very, very wet pot. So this is looking great. I am hopeful. And once again, <laughs> dusty leaves because yeah, never mind the aesthetics. Just live, please. I'm not going to be messing around until it gets much, much warmer and then I can clean the leaves again. <laughs> 
This is what I've done to my shoot to know. This is not in order of who is performing best. We didn't go from the worst to the great. This is all, you know, mixed bag. I can't really say any of them are doing great. Maybe the Kibana looks the best of them all, but yeah, we're not out of the woods. Anyway, shoot to know. <laughs> the main fan, I could not save the crown. Thankfully, though, before the crown started doing what we clearly see now is complete crown rot, the second fan had already started growing. Like I said, thankfully, because I'm not sure I would still have my Shutenor if that hadn't already happened. Once again, Dusty leaves. The crown rot was not because of the Q-tips. That was already a mistake from earlier. It had already started to look a little bit dodgy when I was potting these up into semi-hydro. So this is not because of my Q-tip mistake. But back then, there was still a green leaf coming out the top. And I thought, hey, we got away with it. Mm -hmm. During the winter, this has not manifested itself. And it's clearly a goner. But we've got a fantastic fan coming out to the left here. It's got its own roots. One of the roots is long enough to reach the media. Unfortunately, it stopped growing for many reasons. Maybe also taken a rest the moment I started to pot them up. But we can see that some older roots didn't fare so well. And some older roots look so much better now. They are still plump. They're green. They've got their algae and everything. So this is 50-50 with regards to how the roots stayed alive in semi-hydro and ceramis. You can also see a little bit of salt buildup around the base. Yeah, you know, that could also be a reason why the roots failed. None of my stems are actually in the media. They're all a little bit suspended above the media because I did want to avoid stem rot. Well, I failed because of my own interventions. However, Shutano is giving me hope. She is one of the vigorous ones from these fancy, not the classical Valkatas. She's got such gorgeous blooms, but she's a more robust one than the other three I just showed you, and also a little bit faster in her growth habit. I think that was her saving grace. Certainly nothing that I did has helped her to this point. I'm hoping 2023, we're going to see a little bit more improvement when we do another update around July or August should nothing happen between then and now where I have to clear out another pot and say at least I can recycle a pot and media and don't have to do any purchasing. We don't want that honestly. But anyway, so this is my quick update on my Neo Phoenicia Falcatas that I put into Semi Hydro and Ceramis. We have one casualty and I hope that that is the only casualty in this grouping of now three. A little bit quick out of the gates. Let me just add my classic Farcata. I was actually not going to show it because it wasn't transitioned last year in 2022 with the other four. But hey, Neo Phoenicia Farcata classic. If you're still here and didn't click off the video, well, wonderful. We have a quick update. She's fast asleep. <laughs> but there are a few things I just thought I would point out. Even though they can live outside, my temperatures have dropped down to five degrees Celsius very, very regularly. They can take even down to zero degrees, but then the days should be a little bit warmer. And I haven't had those days, so we have clear signs of stress. This is cold stress. The anthocyanin is there. Whether she's going to lose that when things warm up again, I don't know. But you can see that this is very intense red right here on the underside of the leaf. I'm not fast. She's vigorous. She's big. She's not dying or anything like that. But clearly the past three weeks have shown that this orchid, even though she can tolerate the cold, mm, there are limits as well. My comfort level was <laughs> almost breached, but she's still asleep. you got that dull green going on, got a new leaf coming here, but that's sort of the one from, you know, last season. It's kind of waiting until things warm up. The first thing I'm looking for is to see if there are cracks in the roots to signal that she's waking up. This is the thing I'm looking for, like right here, a little bump there, but that's not from this year. That just stopped growing because temperatures dropped in the fall. But yeah, still 
snooze mode <laughs> and that's it now we're done thank you so very much for watching i appreciate your time if you have any questions how i've tried to take care of them within the time frame of potting them up up to now during the winter let me know i'd be very happy to elaborate in the comments i appreciate having you here it was good to get these out now i can clean up some media and a pot <laughs> and thank you for watching have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.